Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 21, Thoughts. This episode is called Absolution, much like the Hitman game. And yes, this is another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but no spoilers in this video for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Yeah, this was a fantastic penultimate episode. I can hardly wait to see the the second half. So, yeah. Um... Oh, hey, Dorian Gregory was... I thought I recognized, yeah, from from Charmed. Played Undersecretary Walter Thomas, who gives the, the code. Yeah, anyway, let's dive in. So, so yeah, um, you know, we still have the mystery of who will die. And we open in a in dream sequence. And Daisy is like, you know, I, I knew someone, one of us would die. I didn't know we would all go together when we go went and you know the the yeah it it looks like they're on a, a different planet but then you know Coulson right before Daisy wakes up Coulson delivers the bombshell this is Earth oh my god I was wrong it was Earth all along you maniacs it's a cookbook and Soylent Green is people but yeah, that is a very cool, because that was, you know, we were told the planet from the other episodes were, you know, where Hive was for all this time didn't always look like that. That was because of Hive. So, yeah, if they can't stop him, Hive will reduce Earth to, to that, which is fantastic stakes. Like, that's, yeah. And... Let's See. Yeah, we still have the the kill switches and our you know yeah, maybe they'll have to be used at some point. That's why. And yeah, the, the you know, we're told they they have a line about are you sure that the 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 Zephyr can handle this? I, I don't know, it wasn't built for it. And then, you know, Hive says, you know, you know, I told you about the cloaking. And they're like, we, we adjusted the radar. We'll know if, the, you know. But then it turns out the Zephyr was underwater. Very clever. That's, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah, we have yet another example of red tape being positioned as, ah, oh, you know, these rules and regulations, they just get in the way of good people doing good. So we really should have no rules. Which, you know, yeah, there are certain powerful people who would love for that to be. And they've got sadly gotten a lot of their way in recent decades. And I I feel like they pushed it a little bit far, but I did really love the the thing where, you know, Fitz and and Talbot, you know, appear on video and he's posing as I think it was G General and as let's go with that. And the thing of, you know, yeah, the moment that Talbot is asking him first and and you know, he says no, you know, immediately we the audience now, oh, that's why Fitz is sitting there. He's getting like a voice recording of him saying these, yeah, these things. Fitz, the part that I felt they pushed a little too far, Fitz standing there like, it, it was funny when he's just like doing uh, this, but then he's like shrieking to the point where Talbot has to say, okay, you have to stop that, you know. I felt like they pushed that a tiny bit far, but yeah, it was, it was very fun. And I'm sure, I, I hope that Patrick John Hurley, playing General Andaz, had fun pulling those faces for that, you know, yeah, for the, for the footage of the, yeah. And, let's see, yeah. So, he, yeah, Colton gets the code, is, you know, okay, so give me the code, we have 30 seconds left, Oh boy, uh, it's long. It's it's Tolstoy long, you know, and in I just I I hope I haven't watched the the bloopers yet, but I hope there's a blooper 
of like after Coulson has said a ton of them, then like Fitz being like, okay, um, can you start over? I'm sorry, I zoned out. Let's see, and yeah, they they manage to stop. I think there's like five seconds left of the countdown when they stop it, and. <laughs> Elena says that it's not about super speed. It's, you know, you're, you have turtle speed. That's hurtful. And I do really love that later it's, you know, yeah, she very quickly finishes off the thing. And she's like, what? I was watching you work. I know how to do this. And let's see. Yeah, he tries to, to give her back the, the necklace with a lowercase t, but she won't and and later it ends up you know Fitz picks it up and yeah it is this thing of wait is it a lucky rabbit's foot she specifically says that's not what it is but it seems to work <clears throat> and let's see yeah there's you know it's too deep trying to keep i i really it was very fun with um yeah so Dr. Radcliffe, you know, begs for his life to get to, you know, no, 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 I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll become a rocket surgeon. You know, it's certainly I'm smarter in other ways than that. I'm blanking on the name, but that Republican presidential candidate, holy crap. Um, ben Carson, was that? Anyway, yeah, the... You know, and so yeah, he's he's trying to convince the the primitives to to help, and it's like, well, yeah, what do they understand? You know, and he's like, um, you know, and yeah, he says the word tools, and they're like, we got you, fam, go over and pick up hammers, wrong side up. So that's yeah, okay, you know, we're we're getting somewhere, not very fast, not very far so far, but we're getting somewhere. And, yeah, Hive tries to toy with Lincoln, try to get him, let's see, and, yeah, that was, that was very cool, I, and I was, like, thinking, I mean, Lincoln's not always making the best decisions when it comes to Daisy, and here's Hive saying, you know, this is, so, so, yeah, very, very nicely done. And, yeah, Daisy is depressed, much like she was when she first became inhuman, you know, and yeah, the, you know, they, they mention the word dope sick and, and, you know, withdrawal symptoms. And yeah, it is very much like that, you know, and, you know, earlier I, yeah, I and the show have compared it to basically like being on drugs, the, the sway. Really glad they gave it a name. And, yeah, you know, once you come down off it and you start to realize the people you hurt when you were on drugs, yeah, this this is a very realistic depiction of that. And, yeah, Coulson says, I know you want revenge. Trust me, I understand, but revenge breaks you. And, yes, she suggests the memory machine. And he says, we did take it out of storage, but not for you. And then we realize that's what, you know, um, Mac was was working on. And <laughs> this won't kill me. No, but it'll suck. And, yeah, he's kind of losing it to the point where even... Like, James is like, okay, this is, he's being very weird right now. And, and yeah, like, I, I had not thought about it, but that is, I can imagine that would really do a number on Hive. Because he has, you know, hundreds of years of memories from at least hundreds of people. And if all of them, you know, the the only reason he can keep it together is because it's neatly set up. 
and if you like mess with that and and entangle you know yeah that's definitely gonna gonna mess them up some let's see and and yeah may points a gun at Radcliffe who immediately like okay you got it you know and then the primitives come in and yeah and the two primitives they don't you know at first yeah i don't i don't think they even really understand what she's asking them to do but then a third primitive comes in and we have another epic melinda may fight scene you know it's the first, it's not the first time we've seen her fight people who were stronger than her but always love to see it and and yeah you know Radcliffe gets the gun and points it at, at May. He's like, are you with S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yes, I was set with S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you know, he just had to make sure that this was someone he could properly surrender to. So, and they managed to get Hive into stasis. Very, very cool. Just, yeah, such a, yeah, that's, that's the kind of thing, because... It still is like what? What can we do to you know? They they fired like a grenade at him, you know. He got he got lashed, and it's still he's he's still fine. He's still up and walking. You know, he came back from having his chest caved in by Coulson, uh, Coulson's robot hand. So you know, <clears throat> but but yeah, stasis makes a lot of sense and you know we we know at, at this point you know the MCU can only go so long without referencing Empire Strikes Back so and then we have the yeah Lincoln announces he's going to to quit as soon as this is over and you know Mac refuses to follow safety security protocols and tries to talk to, to Daisy, and I will say, as he was approaching her, I was sitting there thinking, oh no, she's, she's gonna like, maybe not like, maybe a, involuntarily, she's gonna like, quake him again or something, but no, he, you know, he manages to, to hug her, and that is that thing, you know, she needs right now to, to, to feel like someone cares about her, to feel like she doesn't, deserve to feel as bad as you know there's there's this great saying love me the most when I least deserve it because that's when I need it the most and yeah it is kind of sweet that Gemma is planning a vacation and yeah really really cool scenes in the in the hangar you know Fitz is like Dave it are. Hal close the pod bay doors and he's like I can't let you do that Dave besides the parts have only just arrived from absolution uh, just yeah really really cool you know makes a lot of sense that's that's a very logical way to you know yeah who's you know you open a package when when it gets to you and you know hive would know that the 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 doors are, are stuck. Let's see, and then we have the, um, yeah, yeah, really, really cool, uh, you know, Fitz manages to get to the door and says something to Gemma that the two of them know, Colson and we have no idea what it means, and yeah, you know, the, the door opens, and he does manage to get the, the other guy in through the door just before it, you know, closes, but yeah, the primitives bust down the the stasis thing, and yeah, it's this thing of the stasis chamber was not made to withstand a huge amount of like outside pressure the way the blast door is. You know, no way the the you know it would take the primitives ages to break down the the door that that shut just you know yeah first fits can't get through it. Then it opens, then he gets through it, pulls the other guy through. That one has been made to, you know, withstand a lot of damage. But the stasis pods, you know, the idea is you can't get to one of the stasis pods without busting down 
a, a blast door or a concrete wall or something like that. And, yeah, you know, Daisy told him everything, including the Zephyr's high altitude feature, which is something we were shown at the start of this season. So, you know, it doesn't come out of the blue, even though the Zephyr can. And, yeah, that's a, that's a very clever... I did not put that together at all before they... You know, the moment that they said it, it was like, oh, no, that's just... Yeah. And, you know, the bomb is still out there. They weren't able to, to stop that. So as soon as he gets the Zephyr to where the bomb is, you know, he can, he can, yeah, get it into to high altitude and, and detonate it. Like he was, uh, yeah. And, yeah, Daisy, again, you know, the only reason she was still stuck in the, in the cell was that she accepted that because they haven't had time to change the computer thing so she gets the the pod up to up on the sephir kneels and says take me back now of course it is possible that she's just that this is a a ploy that she has you know she has a plan but it is also possible you know she's in the the right after someone is has started to, to get off drugs is some of the most vulnerable for them to get back on drugs. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing the, the finale. And let's see. Yeah, so some IMDb trivia. This episode was originally believed to be titled Forgiven. The ambering technique used on Hive is similar to the system seen repeatedly in Fringe, except that this method was deployed in a closed space. And apparently, there were various contestants on the reality web series Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy who make appearances as S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. I'm not going to give the, their names. I know that some people end up regretting being on reality shows and really don't like people talking about them. So, you know, if you really badly want to know, it's on the MDB trivia for this episode. And, yeah, I like Mac quoting Aristotle with Daisy thinking it's the the Bible <laughs> and and Simmons saying you think I'm not romantic I'm gonna do something with you on that island that will take your breath away which of course you know he's a straight cis man he he's thinking sex and he's like what is uh, are are you what snorkeling <laughs> which is of course yeah you know they're both really into to gathering knowledge and and exploring new concepts and such. so so yeah that is a it is a logical thing for her to suggest and let's see yeah i got to say you know at, at one point in this episode daisy says the worst part about hive is when he's making you hurt the people you care about he makes you love him for it if hive isn't the devil he's the closest thing to it you and I will ever see. I mean that sounds like conservative Christianity to me. That does not sound like Satanism. So but that's of course, you know, the show was there's probably a lot of Christians working on the show. It was made for a presumed Christian audience. And that's how they perceive the devil, which is of course how they're able to do all this evil because they're like, no, 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 the other side's worse. So that makes us good by default. And let's see. Yeah, I like that, you know, the when they when they catch Hive, you know, there's a dramatic pause and then Holden Radcliffe is yes and claps. Woo! Ah! Let's see. And <clears throat> then we have the yeah yeah um I like let's 
see. Yeah, a couple of yeah, yeah. There's some really great lines that are right. Um, before I get to the really fun ones, I want to say about you know the the thing of you know when Elena real you know becomes certain that Mac is willing to use the kill switches, she says, "Good, because I'd rather die than be anyone's slave." And this is very credible. You know, we haven't. Elena hasn't had a huge amount of screen time so far on the show, but the first thing we see her do is risk her life to get weapons out of the hands of bad guys. You know, this is very much, very in character. And let's see. Yeah, um, the, the thing with, you know, I'm here. Good. You gotta hurry. Oh, the turtle man wishes for me to hurry. He's lucky he's handsome. And, yeah, earlier she said, you know, your work, it's too slow. I'm sorry, we all don't have super speed. Oh, this isn't about super speed. This is about your turtle speed. You work and you and then you stare. And work and then more staring. We have to go. Hurtful. And and that is the, yeah, you know, some engineers are are very cautious because their work can can do significant damage so that's basically yeah that's what we're seeing there and yes I should be able to do an episode tomorrow so that is when you'll see me next that's when the the that's when I'll do the yes I think I was, yeah moving on uh, let's see yeah I can tell by your mustache that you're a man of importance and not to be trifled with, so I will be absolutely honest with you, the process is irreversible. And I can tell by your beady little eyes that you are a worm. 